Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. We're continuing through Romans 9 through 11 uh, because of the need for God's people to know what is God's definitive and last word with regard to the Jews, number one, and secondly, to counter the claim that the Palestinians now take precedent over God's covenant promises to the Jews with regard to the land. And uh, Romans 9 through 11 makes that clear. So we're going to spend some time in that. <clears throat> we're we're beginning <clears throat> with verse 6. <clears throat> the previous verses are uh, have spoken of how God has used the Jews for certain to reveal certain aspects of his truth, of his ethics, of his commands. Uh, He says there's the adoption, there's the divine glory, the covenants, receiving the law, temple worship, the promises, all these things. And then verse 6, he says, it's not as though God's word had failed. All these promises, all these uh, things for which they were chosen will remain and they will continue. For not all, here's the reason, for not all who descended from Israel are Israel. What's that mean? Well, it means that not all of the descendants of Abraham are believers. They're not in the Israel of God. Matter of fact, he goes on to say, not because they are his descendants are they Abraham's children. On the contrary, it is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Now, that's very significant. Because there are many Muslims who claim, no doubt many Palestinians who claim, that Ishmael is the line of promise. That it was Ishmael that Abraham offered up as a sacrifice. Well, according to the scriptures, that's not so at all. It is Isaac. And that's exactly what he says. It is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. In other words, it's not the natural children who are God's children. But it is the children of promise who are regarded as Abraham's offspring. The children of promise. Then he goes on to say how the promise starts. For this was how the promise was stated. At the appointed time I will return and Sarah will have a son. So it was through Sarah's son Isaac that the promise begins. And the descendants from them are the the true descendants of of uh, Abraham, not that they become Jews, but they're part of the Israel of God. Now, where does that leave us as non, non-Jews? Well, God tells us where we are. <clears throat> In uh, Galatians chapter 3, the last verse says, if you, this is significant, if you belong to Christ, to the, to the Messiah, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. You're Abraham's seed if you belong to, if you belong to Christ. Uh, chapter 6, he closes off in verse 15. He says, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision means anything. What counts is a new creation. And that's what we are, a part of that new creation. Peace and mercy who, uh, to all who follow this rule, even to the Israel of God. So God is saying to us, <clears throat> because we're believers... We're true believers in Jesus as the Messiah. We are included into the Israel of God. We've been engrafted in. So remember this. If you belong to the Messiah, then you are Abraham's seed and you are heir according to the promise. Now that's the truth. Till next week, Shalom Aleichem. 